Hello everyone, welcome back to Career Guru, your go-to channel for the latest job updates. So, today I'm going to show you how to host your MySQL database for free. I know how hard it can be to find a good and free solution for hosting MySQL database, especially in RDBS server. So, after searching a lot and watching too many videos, without finding any satisfactory result, I finally found a free server that works great and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So let's get started. Here is how I hosted and connected my database to the cloud. This is my cluster. So you can think or you can say as uh, it's a server and uh, let's open it. Here you can see uh, it's free and available. So they have mentioned and let's take a look at what this uh, free cluster offers. So here you can see wow they have mentioned uh, they are use, uh, they are open for 5 gb storage with the 50 connections and the most importantly no credit card required at this moment surprisingly i was shocked and uh, think finally we can host our my mysql database for free yeah it's like whoosh now let's see how it works here you can see uh, I have also included some query and graphs so I also recently added these features and you can see in the in this actions they also have a built-in SQL editor so you can just run the queries directly from the web interface or if you preferred uh, you can use MySQL workbench for from your local system I personally use uh, MySQL workbench so I'll uh, update you how to connect that so don't you worry here you here in the database uh, you can see I have added three tables and it allows multiple connection so I'll guide you step by step uh, how to set up set this up so don't you worry and now uh, let's move on the login and connection process firstly go to the TIDB cloud.com and log in with your email or you can just directly log in with your github account whichever you can prefer uh, you can log in with you all see uh, here the prompt for getting uh, getting started for free also they have mentioned uh, it's compatible for mysql database you can uh, do it in minutes with no software installation or any configuration so you can read it and after successful login uh, you will be redirected to this dashboard so here you can see uh, there is a create cluster button in the top right corner you all see I have already created uh, and hosted my database uh, on this cluster it's a cluster 0 so let's click on the uh, create cluster here you can choose uh, the tire you want to start with uh, you can go with the free services uh, they are offering AWS services uh, they have mentioned uh, they are working with them so let's let's start with the free server I hope you are okay with these free services so let's create our first cluster you will be redirected uh, to the overview page where you will see uh, it's compatible for MySQL and uh, other languages so here additionally uh, there are no installations required and you can explore these things by sliding uh, through these slides so now let's move on the important part uh, to how to connect this uh, <coughs> so here you will see uh, here is a connect button by clicking on this connect button uh, you can find the endpoints uh, database name and most importantly the password here uh, here is the twist uh, like uh, clicking on this generate button you will get the password only once so make sure to note it down somewhere okay so now uh, you will get the host name uh, port name username password and you might think uh, like you are done now and <coughs> you can now separately open the workbench and connect it uh, with the same but wait uh, you all you all miss the most important part about the certifications 
without them you can't access the database so let's check it out uh, <coughs> now that uh, you have the host name port name uh, firstly we will uh, just open the mysql workbench and connect it so i assume uh, you have already installed it or uh, you have installed the mysql workbench so if if you haven't the mysql workbench with you so just let me know in the comment section and i'll explain how to install it so in the mysql workbench create new connection and fill these details uh, host name database name password etc and test the connection by finishing this connection uh, you have connected this database successfully now we can easily modify uh, the queries and add database in these fields now let's move towards the certification part as they mentioned in the uh, comment download the CS certification for server certificate verification and replace it with your local path yeah but uh, how to do that so let's check it out uh, you can do firstly download the CS certification uh, by clicking on this button and after downloading it uh, you have you will get uh, this file .pem uh, let's open it in the VS code so here you will find uh, this file and uh, into the .env uh, here you have to uh, paste the path of that file uh, in the backend folder you can just create certification folder and into this certification folder you have to uh, add this file and you can just simply uh, add the path of that file uh, like you have to mention uh, certification you can just uh, simply add this ca and the path of this file now moving towards the server connection uh, here in the db.js here you can uh, see i have mentioned uh, ssl and into this uh, we can just uh, add this object for ca and uh, we have to read that uh, to uh, to read that path we just simply uh, added this fs server uh, fs library sorry and <coughs> by using this file system uh, library we can read this uh, file uh, from this path which we have added in the env so by doing that uh, you can easily run your server and you will be happy as me i hope you all really enjoyed this video and if you found it useful please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with the others who are eager to learn more things uh, thank you and good day